cartoonist in Brooklyn. I've been working on a book, Power Out, for the last two and a half years. Power Out is about a kid who wants the whole world to go away, and then it does, and then he realizes this is terrible. You know, he's basically a misanthrope. And uh, has lots of problems interacting with people. And then the opportunity presents itself. There's this huge power out. His parents are away on a cruise. His sister goes away. And it's like, finally, I'm by myself. Nobody is bothering me anymore. Um, but then, you know, he comes to realize that this is a pretty empty existence. Basically, I think when you're writing a comic, too, you, you come up with certain imagery and then you build around that imagery. And so you get these images and then, you know, you do more. But the story evolves, you know what I mean? It's like you start, you start with these characters and then they start doing things that maybe you didn't expect or, um, you know, taking on uh, certain aspects of yourself. Pisces, you know, I, um, you know, like I really like eating in like an open air cafe. I, like I like that a lot. You know, like being outdoors, is very nice. You know. What's gritty goat? I think it's just like uh, I love, I love that it, it stands for greatest of all time. But it's also its own word, so it's just like it's just like hard, you know what I mean? I'm also like pretty obviously like a pretty like scrappy person, you know what I mean? So I like take a lot of pride in my grittiness. I really care about my comics and I'm very possessive of those and not gonna take any shit in that way. But you know, I was like, Oh, what song you wanna listen to? What do you wanna do tonight? What you know, I'm like, okay, whatever, you know what I mean? But then, you know, like so I'm like a smiley, nice, get along kind of guy. I don't like fighting. But then in other ways I'm like the grittiest mother on the planet. Shit happens sometimes, you know, like sometimes you need to get gritty, you know, especially when you're the goat.